Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. And on tonight's episode, we are going to be doing another episode here, and this is going to be concentrating on our tailoring skill. So for those of you who don't know anything about tailoring, it allows you to make uh, armor, it allows you to make a lot of different things, but uh, mainly cloth armor, leather armor, you can even make some, uh, some heavy duty armor and things of that sort with a little bit of uh, blacksmithing mixed into it. You need some studs and things of that sort, which we'll get into at later levels. But for now, what we're going to be trying to do at, uh, maybe not this episode, but we're going to be trying to get to our backpack so we can make some 10% weight reduction backpacks. But for this uh, episode, I think we're going to concentrate on level 1 through 15, which is to make uh, silk swatches, and then level 15 the 36 which is to make raw silk armor so yeah it's pretty easy to do all you need to do is go out collect some spider silk guys this is the stuff you need right here now spider silk is pretty common in a few places and very uncommon in a lot of other places now it drops off of spiders as you would imagine you can get them outside in the commons you can get them uh you know in a lot of different places where spiders are killed in the karanas and things of that sort they drop a little bit more often if you really, really want to get a whole bunch of spider silk, just go over to um, the Lake of Ill Omen or over into um, the pit and uh, kill them over there with your lizards. Uh, those are the best places to do it. That's what I did with my monk. And I've, you know, I've made a couple videos over there of us killing those things. And I got close to, uh, you know, backpack and a half full of uh, spider silk just killing over there for about 20 30 minutes so it's not really that hard of a thing to do in that area but it can be very very difficult in other places now the way you want to upgrade your uh, silk level or your uh, tailoring level i should say by making uh, silk swatches is to put two of these spider silks in your uh, sewing kit at a time and hit the combine button and you will see that you will get these things right here now I've already done this a whole bunch of times and I've already maxed out my skill as much as possible but I wanted to show you guys exactly how this was done because even when you're done with this, even once you're past level 15, you're still going to need these things to progress past this stage. So it's not like you're just going to get to uh, you know 15 on your tailoring skill and then you're done with uh, spider silk. No, no, not even close, guys. You're going to need a lot of this as a backup. Now, you're not necessarily going to need the spider silk by itself. You're going to want these things right here is the silk swatches. So you might as well sit here and just level this up with the spider silk. Don't try doing anything else. There are a few other you know recipes that you could make at this level. But uh, you know, like I said, you need so much of this spider silk that it's really not going to be... Um, you know worth it for you to do anything else now i got this entire backpack over here full of the stuff so that's what we're going to be concentrating on for a, a few just to show you guys how it's done and how often you fail now how often did i fail getting it up to 1 through 15 to be honest not that often i have a, a 200 wisdom on my uh, my cleric which allows you to go up a little bit higher in your skills a little faster you learn a little bit faster uh, if you're a intelligence based class intelligence is of course going to be the key on you and i don't know on the different uh, melee classes uh, it seems like it kind of varies i've heard warriors might use intelligence i've heard some of them say wisdom you know you're going to have to ask a class uh, you know that you are to to find that out or look it up on the wi the wiki to make sure but yeah some of them uh, use things you wouldn't uh, really think that they would you know because a warrior doesn't have any mana any power whatsoever so he has to go by uh, different stats basically and intelligence kind of makes sense because the higher the intelligence is you know the faster you're going to learn things whereas with the, a cleric wisdom is his thing because that happens to be his power doesn't guess it kind of makes sense as well because you know if you have a lot of wisdom then uh, you're pretty smart so that that kind of goes hand in hand with each other but i don't know you kind of have to figure that one out on your on your own but you can see how you don't get one every single time even when this is a trivial thing to do now every two turns into one of these swatches and later on you're going to be using one swatch and one set of patterns to uh, create an item so you can see just how many of these stacks you're going to be going through and it's not really going to equal out to how many you have in the end you're going to turn two stacks into one basically and that's going to be okay for now i mean I, like i said it only took 
about 20 30 minutes to collect about a backpack full and that was with me with a high level monk running around killing things and not really having to worry too much about dying or getting jumped by high level creatures or anything like that if you are over there in the pit and you're you're killing and you're just doing that for actual experience that's fantastic you'll be able to build up you know a nice chunk while you're leveling up at the same time and monks it's kind of a nice skill to have because the armor that you want for a monk is going to be lightweight and some of the best armor in the game that you can get at your low level is going to be player made armor it's going to be that uh oh, what's it called the uh the cured silk you know because it has very very little weight to it it has a yeah, small amount of ac not uh, anything as close to what you're going to get at in game but it is pretty good at that level it's the best thing you're probably going to find you see that guy just ran right by the guards. Now, the reason I'm doing it over here at the entrance to the zone and not someplace else is the fact that I like to start all our uh, training videos, all our um, trade skill videos, over here at the entrance to Freeport. So that if you're going to follow in my steps, you don't need to already know where things are. You can just literally follow right where I'm going and, and get to those places. However, if you happen to be playing an evil race and you can't come into this city, there are other tutorials out there, and, I, and like I said before, I will be doing one on my uh, Dark Elf Shadow Knight at some point down the road. So if you want to see that in the Dark Elf City, you can watch those videos. I don't know if I'll be doing it on my Monk, but I do want to do one in one good city and another one in an evil city. So that most classes out there will be able to at least follow in, that, in those footsteps if they need to. However, the, the Lizards, they're pretty much hated by everybody. You can with you know enough time and enough patience get your faction up with the dark elves that's that's a possibility so you could do it that way if i show you those videos but uh yeah you may have to find somebody else on on certain cities that you just don't want to you don't want to leave now there are some better cities out there to do certain trade skills in and uh it, it really just comes down to convenience like some of these cities have all the stuff you need in one little area other ones kind of have them spread out in certain quadrants that you have to run to and that just makes it a little bit more time consuming for you so it really comes down to how long does it take me to run to that city do i really like that city am i getting good prices in that city because my faction is high or is my faction low because if you're doing something like jewelry making you want to make sure that your faction is as high as it possibly can be in whatever city you're buying the gold copper silver bars from because those can't be made by players as far as I'm aware. Those act actually have to be bought from an NPC. And they cost a, a fair bit of money. So, yeah, you want to make sure you have the best faction. You also want to make sure you have a good amount of charisma gear on you. Now, that could be said the same for any of these, even if you're buying really, really cheap stuff. The higher the charisma you have, the uh, better the prices you're going to get, and you're going to spend less money in the end. So that's always a good tip to try to do if you can. But remember, when you actually start making the uh, the items, you want to switch on your other gear, which is uh, intelligence or wisdom. Or maybe a combination of the two. If you happen to be like an enchanter, a lot of their gear has intelligence and charisma on it. So you're getting kind of the best of both worlds. Because I believe charisma also helps you uh, make stuff uh, a little bit more. I mean, it might be uh, dexterity or something along those lines, so don't hold me to that one. But I remember somebody saying something about charisma helping make certain items okay so we got that completely done on these uh, five silk swatches so we're going to go a little bit further into town and the reason we're going to go a little further into town is that now to continue we need to go ahead and get some patterns now patterns are sold in different places in different cities you might have to look around for a little while or go search on the wiki i would definitely suggest if you're looking for a very specific item in this game to go look on the wiki it's going to save you so much time I don't normally do that. I, I'm the, one of those type of guys that uh, if I'm playing a game, I, I want to play the game. I'm just going to go in there and look at it and see what I can find. But if you're you know, not uh, the, the type of person who likes running around for hours on end, checking each NPC out and maybe missing the exact one that they're looking for because he's hiding in some corner in some basement that you didn't even know existed, then uh, look online. It will tell you exactly who sells what for the most part. There are a few loopholes, uh, a few, uh, you know... Uh, places where people haven't listed that kind of information which kind of takes me back to the old days where that information just wasn't available but uh, for the most part especially when it comes to trade skills that information is definitely available to you now the person i'm going to 
happens to be right next to the bank. It's perfect. If you uh, put all your stuff in the bank, you come over here every so often when you get a few spider silks and you're doing it, you know, every every little bit, you know, helps. So you don't always have to do this all at one time. So if you're putting all this stuff in the bank and just coming over here whenever you need it, perfect place for it because you can just pick this stuff up right out of those slots, run over here, pick up a couple of those patterns, and move on to the next one. Holy crap. Somebody, uh, somebody got killed quite a few times or did that on purpose but either way it's kind of cool now there's a bank right there in front of us if you come over here to the right you'll see there's patterns over here on this side somebody was actually uh, casting something on me here in a second so oh we got spirit of the wolf thank you i appreciate that let me do an oc thanking them for that one thanks for spirit of the wolf now if you scroll all the way down you'll see where are they at um no this is not the person is it Oh, no, these are for the other one. These are the uh, the muffin tin sketches. Okay, so I got the NPC confused. Dang it. Was it you? One of you guys had the, the patterns. So there's a small sewing kit. If you guys need to buy a sewing kit, you can come over here to this NPC and snag one. Uh, they have large sewing kits as well. I don't know who has that one, to be honest. I need to find one probably in a bigger town but guys i think we're going to go ahead and end the episode right here that was level one through uh, 15 for your uh, spider your spider silk turning that into actual uh, useful silk swatches which then we are going to get the patterns for and uh, turn those into the uh, raw silk mainly the mask because it seems to be uh one of the cheapest ones to buy and so therefore it's the easiest one to level up but again guys i want to thank you all for watching and i will catch you all next time